Welcome back to Saturday Morning Coffee Break, where this morning's topic is metrics that matter. Why your security dashboard is lying to you. Here's our Saturday morning reality check. Those green check boxes on your security dashboard might be hiding your biggest vulnerability. So picture this with me. You're in your quarterly board meeting, confidently presenting your security metrics. Everything looks great. The vulnerability count is down 40%. Patching compliance is at 95%. Your security train completion rate is 100%. All of your KPIs are green. Three weeks later, you're dealing with a ransomware incident that encrypted half your infrastructure. The board asked the obvious question, but all your metrics said we were secure. What happened? Welcome to some uncomfortable truth. Your security dashboard is probably lying to you. Not intentionally, but the metrics most organizations track are measuring activity, not security. And that's a massive difference. This is called the vanity metrics problem. Let's talk about metrics that make security leaders feel good, but don't actually tell you anything useful about your security posture. The first is, we've closed 500 vulnerabilities this quarter. While that sounds impressive, think about this. Here are the questions no one asks. How many new vulnerabilities were discovered? How many of those were criticals? And are they still open? Are you fixing the right vulnerabilities or just the easy ones? Did closing those vulnerabilities actually reduce your risk? Sure, closing 500 low severity vulnerabilities while ignoring five critical ones is like rearranging the deck chairs on a sinking ship. You're busy, you're showing activity, but you're still sinking. Security training completions 100%. Congratulations. Everyone clicked through your mandatory training. Now ask yourself, can they actually identify a phishing or social engineering attack? Has suspicious email reporting gone up? Have successful phishing attacks gone down? Do people change their behavior or are they just checking a box? I've seen organizations with 100% training completion and 30% phishing simulation failure rates. The metric said success while the reality screamed, we're vulnerable. Next, we've patched 95% and we're at a compliance. This sounds secure until you realize that 5% includes your most critical internet facing servers. Compliant means patching within 90 days, but that vulnerability is being actively exploited. You're measuring percentage of systems, not percentage of risk. Your legacy systems are excluded from the metric as they still run core business systems. The dashboard shows green, but your actual exposure is still red. So what should we be measuring instead? Here's the shift. Stop measuring security activity and start measuring security outcomes. Instead of vulnerabilities closed, let's measure the mean time to remediation of our critical vulnerabilities in production. This tells you how fast you respond to actual risk. If your mean time to resolution for critical vulnerabilities is 60 days, you're giving attackers two months to exploit known weaknesses. That's your real security posture, not how many low priority bugs that you fixed. So instead of training rate completion, let's measure suspicious email reporting plus the actual phishing click-through rate. Are people actually changing their behavior? If your suspicious email reports are increasing and your phishing simulation success rates are decreasing, your training's working. If not, you're just checking compliance boxes. Next, instead of percentage of systems patch, let's measure percentage of critical assets patched within our risk SLA. Not all systems matter equally. Your internal test server and your customer-facing authentication systems have vastly different risk profiles. Measure what matters. Are your crown jewels actually patched? Additionally, 
instead of the number of security policies published, measure policy exception rates plus the time to approve. Having 50 security policies means nothing if everyone is working around them. If your exception rate is 40%, your policies aren't being followed. They're being bypassed. That's your real security culture. Metrics that actually predict incidents. Think about that with me. After analyzing dozens of security incidents, I found certain metrics that consistently correlate with security breaches. The first is mean time to detection. How long does it take to discover that something bad is happening? Industry averages is still over 200 days. If you don't know you're being compromised for seven months, your dashboards are meaningless. Next is the mean time to respond. Once you detect an incident, how fast can you and your security team contain it? Every minute slash hour matters. This metric tells you if your incident response is actually functional or just theoretical. Next, privilege creep rate. What percentage of users have more access than they need? If this number is growing, you're expanding your attack service. If Sally from marketing has admin rights to the database, your access controls are broken. Additionally, think about your security debt accumulation. Are you creating security issues faster than you're fixing them? If your vulnerability backlog grows every quarter despite high remediation rates, you're actually losing ground. Next is alert fatigue index. What percentage of your security alerts are getting investigated? If you're generating tens of thousands of alerts weekly and investigating 50 to 100, you're not detecting threats, you're creating noise. Now it's time to do a dashboard redesign. Here is what an honest security dashboard might look like. In your first sections, are we getting breached? Days since last security incident. The mean time to detect anomalies. The mean time to contain those incidents. And the number of incidents per quarter. This allows for trending. In the next section, are we protecting what matters? Percentage of critical assets with up-to-date patches. The days of exposure for critical vulnerabilities. Are my crown tools access reviewed regularly? Data exfiltration attempts detected and blocked. The final section. Are people actually secure? Are your phishing simulation click-through rates trending down? That's good. Are suspicious activity reports from employees trending up is good. Policy exception rate trending up is now bad. Your multi-faction authentication for privileged accounts. Another section is are we getting better? Security debt ratio, new issues versus solved issues. Repeat vulnerability rate, the same issue keeps appearing, whoops. Security champion engagement metrics and the time from vulnerability disclosure to your patch deployment. Now the uncomfortable conversations. Honest metrics create uncomfortable conversations. That's the point. When your dashboard shows a mean time to detection is 45 days instead of 95 systems monitored, leadership asks the hard questions. When it shows critical vulnerabilities 23 open, average age is 67 days, instead of 500 vulnerabilities closed, your priorities will shift. Your security dashboard should make you feel slightly uncomfortable. If you're feeling good about everything on it, you're probably measuring the wrong things. So welcome to our coffee break challenge. This Saturday morning, pull up your security dashboard and ask yourself these three questions. First, if we had a breach tomorrow, would these metrics have predicted it? If the answer is no, you're tracking vanity metrics. Next, question number two. Could these metrics all be green while you're actively being compromised? If the answer is yes, your dashboard is lying to you. And thirdly, do these metrics change how we prioritize security work? If your answer is no, you're just in a reporting theater. Do something about that. Something radical. Show your dashboard to someone outside security. 
such as your CFO, your CTO, a smart colleague, and ask them, based on these numbers, would you feel confident about our security? If they're confused or unconvinced, your metrics need work. So the bottom line this Saturday, security metrics should answer one fundamental question. Are we secure enough for our business context and risk tolerance? Everything else is just activity reporting, and activity isn't security. Most secure organizations I've worked with don't have the prettiest dashboards. They have the most honest ones. They track metrics that hurt. They measure outcomes, not outputs. They know the difference between we're busy and we're safe. Your security dashboard should be a risk management tool not a feel-good progress report. If it's not changing behavior, driving prioritization, or helping you prevent incidents, it's just expensive decoration. So this week, take a hard look at what you're measuring and ask yourself, am I tracking what makes me look good or what keeps us actually secure? That's a big difference. And your next security incident will expose which one you choose. So let's wrap up now with some honest security metrics. A checklist to follow. Metrics predict or detect actual security incidents. Your dashboard shows both good and bad news, honestly. Metrics drive prioritization and resource allocation. Non-security leaders can understand what metrics mean. You're measuring outcomes, not just activities. Metrics make you slightly uncomfortable. It's a good sign. Dashboards would reveal an active breach, not hide it. So thank you again for tuning in to this week's Saturday Morning Coffee Break. My name is Flutus Poston. So as always, stay safe and stay secure, everyone.